All right, so this is another inspired reading. I'm not trying to be on Juby's jock, but all I'm saying is she been coming out with some good topics. And as y'all see by the title, that's a juicy little topic. We finna try to see why did they betray you? What was really up? You know what I'm saying? So we we just finna tap into that. So we have power number one with this lilac color. We have power number two with this blue color. And we have power number three with a yellow color. Let's get into why did they betray you? So power number one with this lilac color. I'm going to say from the jump, they betrayed you because of what you knew, your vibration. You vibrated high naturally. We had the four ones. You naturally had things to celebrate. Maybe they were mad because they felt like you celebrated too much. The uh, jealousy really came from how you move and how you get your money. They was jealous of your hustle power number one. <clears throat> they was mad because they it's like the move that you made to get money, they would have never thought of. Matter of fact, they lazy minded. Like they betrayed you because they were mad. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so let's get back into it. Had to make sure my baby was good. They felt like you was giving them crumbs in a way. They felt like they was too dependent on you and what you had to say. But that's not your fault. That's not your fault if you're a leader and all they know how to do is follow. If you want to be a leader, you need to follow the right people in order to be able to have those characteristics. I don't think, I feel like these people betrayed you because number one, they wanted to hurt you. And number two, it's like really and truly, they're dumb. And I don't want to like call people dumb and stuff like that, even though like, I mean, sister needs to keep it real. I just, I just tell it like it is. I feel like they were dumb because they were close and they were as close as they could have possibly been to you. They betrayed you and they still looking for crumbs. They're still trying to find somebody that matches your energy or that's able to give the way you gave to them. These people were stupid, but you was like, you know what? I got patience. I got time today. I'm really finna, you know, try to help you. But they said, you know what? I, I think I'm going to be able to use this information and finally get one up on them. They got that information. They thought they was going to get one up, baby. And they, they two, three, four, five, six, all the way ten down. You still winning. You still healing. They looking for somebody to heal for them. They're looking for somebody to say, oh, here's the magic potion that's going to help you heal. This person, like, I don't know. It's like, it, it's, this betrayal is like meditating. They, they, they plan to betray you. They wanted to get close enough to you to betray you. But now that they, they showed their hand, it's like now they can't unshow it. It's like now, it's like now you have the evidence against them to really show them, show other people who they are. And I feel like in a way they trying to hide their faith. You may not see these people often. This, you might see these person. This person can't even look you in your eye because they are shamed energetically. They betrayed you off of jealousy. They didn't even have no real reason. Ace of Wands, they, the reason was who you were. The reason was your passion, your creativity. These people are boring. These, per these people lack creativity. These people... They draw their energy from others. And that's why when you left, they felt like it was no way they could get up. They could have found another person to draw energy off of, but both both of them are energy vampires. So it's like they're they're really hurting each other. The justice, this they karma. They get to hurt and betray each other. So they in this betrayal is there. They tried to do you one bad, but they ended up serving the right type of justice for themselves. They did you exactly how they've been doing other people, but the difference will, is they're gonna see you and your success with your partner and with everything that they thought they wanted to take from you. They're gonna see you with it and some, and they're not gonna even be able to get one thing that they want. They're gonna be looking pitiful faced, pity faced. You know how you tell your child no when they be. That's how they gonna be. When you see them next, they gonna be like, "Congratulations! I heard you really. I heard you got married. I heard you moved. I heard, heard the business was successful. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, stop it. If you was me, if you was Sister Misty, don't worry about it. I'm already. I'm already celebrating enough. Thank you so much, and just walk off because you don't want to. You don't. Don't take nothing. They trying to breadcrumb you with that positive information, trying to congratulate you. I wouldn't even take it. I'd say, you know what? 
So this say, I about to say, I would say, you know what? Thank you, thank you, I'm, thank you. I'm so happy that you're proud. You know, I'm happy. I, I'm happy I made it too. Thank you, and just walk off. Don't ask them nothing about them. Don't give no other information. Hold on, y'all. I can't stand no ads. Baby, all day I play soft jazz in my house because one thing the enemy cannot stand is some good soft jazz, some happy tones, some happy vibrations, so some chill vibrations, really. So, yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh, did I rap with the message and didn't know it? So, yeah. These people thought that they was going to get the ending. They thought they was going to get the end, the last word, the last say, the, oh, yeah, I told you this, or I knew this person wasn't going to be that. They thought they had you wrapped up, baby. And when they opened it up, they didn't see you in it. It was just like you was hating on a chill vibe. But that vibe was so chill, it melted away. Now you left with nothing. Nothing. These people, they betrayed you, but really they betrayed themselves. So, power number one. Please like, please share, please subscribe if that was you. If you re resonated with the reading, them people. And I'm going to see you guys in another reading. So, Paul number two with the blue. I heard a niece uh, If you try to play me like I'm green, I'm... No, what, is, what she said? If you try me like I'm... No, if he try me... If he play me like I'm green... No, if he try me like I'm green, I'm going to play him blue. That's what it was. If you try me like I'm green, I'm going to play him like he blue. Or I'm playing blue. So I feel like y'all really got some people holding their breath. You got some people holding their breath. Oop, they left out in the cold, baby. They sick. They're cold. They're cold. They're thinking about moving on. They, baby, they trying to move to a warmer climate. Y'all, they trying to move on to this success period in their life. Why did they betray you, though? They betrayed you because of what? Because of what? Oh, oh, honey. Y'all, let me tell y'all. These people are sad in the mood. <sighs> so let me read you this sad tale, okay? So this person, this is a lover. Part number two, you do not have to disguise it. This is a partner. We know. We already see it. This is a partner that you decide to not talk to anymore, okay? They betrayed you because it really hurt them seeing you walk away, y'all. You didn't fight for them. You didn't You didn't care about them. They felt like you wasted their time. They betrayed you. They tried to find... they, <laughs> Y'all, they tried to find love with a snake. Yes, if you're in this pile, you tried to find love with a snake. This person don't look like a snake because why would a reptilian look like what a rep reptilian is? Why would they look like that? Of course, they're going to put on their, their softest mask. They're going to put on their, their victim mentality and say, I too was a victim. Y'all, that's a game. They're trying to play you because they want to see you. They want to see you in the same energy they're in. For some reason, um... Your partner and whoever this is may know each other and that you might not like, I don't know. I feel like they both don't like you. And that's why this tower moment is happening for you because you did, you failed to see the signs. Like, why would you, why would you link up with somebody that, why would you link up just for the, for the hate? It seems like this betrayal came out of jealousy because you're a person that's able to move on or they were a person that was able to move on. I don't know. I'm getting split energy. This could be a cross watcher, somebody that's not a part of my collective, not subscribed, watching these, and it's coming off as the they're the enemy, they're the opposing energy, and they're speaking here in opposing energy. They're trying to speak their peace, and my energy is like, yeah, this the collective that's actually subscribed is moved on because this this what I think this, it's a cross. It's it must be a cross watcher here. Because I pick up on this energy every time, and I and I start channeling in their perspective when really it's about and that my phone lit up. So collective, all I can say is this person tried to get a reaction out of you. They tried to get a reaction out of you, and they ended up being the one reactive. Like they're reacting time and time after again. It's a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo that's making sure she get her she get her um uh, her feel of drama. When it comes to this person, she wants to make sure that she ruined per this person's relationships. Um, 
like they betrayed you just to be betrayed themselves that, that i just can't i can't i can't i can't just i just can't i just can't with that. like i couldn't even get that out like i'm just so i'm just so i done like why when 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 do people ever not get they karma back like this person was mad because evidently they did something that you didn't see as real love and you moved away like you were supposed to. You said clear boundaries. You did exactly how you moved, exactly how you were supposed to move. This mo this person wanted a reaction out of you. So they went and found a snake to be with. They thought that this person's energy was going to be the perfect energy to come at you. But unlike Unlike what they even thought, this person was putting on a, a fake persona. They weren't able to meet your energy. So they betrayed you for nothing. Now they sitting here looking stupid with the boo-boo face. We had a queen of pentacles. I feel like there's somebody that's even closer to them than this person that they just found to be close with. And this person that is on the outskirts, they looking at this person get close to a snake and they say, yeah, I got some for this. So at the end of the day, this person still going to end up alone. And I, this was supposed to be a karma reading, but it ended up like this. So you guys can get some time, I guess, so y'all can be, you know, okay with the fact that this this was a betrayal. This is exactly how it played out. But this person, they getting exactly what they deserve. They being alone. For some of you guys, they're wondering how you're alone all the time, or they're wondering how you stay to yourself so much, or why you don't like people, and now they seeing why. And they're like, oh, now I understand. For some of you, this person is going to definitely try to come back around. And I think the person that is, I think this person is a baby mama. This person is a baby, she's either a baby mama, a sister, or an ex-girlfriend that still got ties with this person. Or they still talk or link up. Because this person is giving me, she got a reason. And this energy is giving me, this person is receiving a lot of karma because she got a reason. And I guess you got a reason too, collective. So, yeah. Power number two, y'all always give me a run for my money with the energy. Please like, please share, please subscribe if it related to you or you resonated with it. And I'm going to see you guys later. Whew. Power number three with the yellow. Let's see who betrayed you and why. Or why they betrayed you. And I guess it's going to come out anyway who it is. You're going to know who it is. I got all these readings that I already have scheduled to come out, and I'm steady putting more out. So, y'all definitely, definitely check those out. So, this is the Aries Leo Sash that uh, betrayed you, collective. This is, I don't know. This could be somebody who tried to take your man or did take your man or something. But the truth was, you didn't really just care about that or you didn't want them anyway. Because if you want something, they're not going to be easily obtainable. Ooh, I guess this betrayal, y'all, this betrayal is coming through real shisty. This person could have betrayed you because they thought you had so much. You got, They thought you had a lot. This is the Aries or Leo says they thought you had the part you had people that wanted to give you love at, at any cost whenever you wanted to. They see you working hard on your money. They see you as somebody who is very abundant. You don't have to lift a finger. Things are on the way for you. Like they're not clear about how you always get what you want, but evidently it's a way because you always get what you want. We had a strength card here. They're mad because you have a strong um spiritual mindset or a strong mindset, period. Like you don't let you don't let things get to you, and you could have just like not let this person get to you. This person wants somebody. This person could have tried to target somebody or something that you wanted because they thought that it was gonna like ruin you, but it didn't. It made you better. It made you. It made you stronger. It made you more focused on you, and it's putting them. They betrayed you, but like I said in pile number one, they really are pile number two. Whichever one you was attracted to, go to that because you're gonna get more of this person's perspective. But they betrayed you, but they can't sleep at night. I feel like your angels is really causing havoc on their life right now because they really didn't have. They really destroyed your life out of jealousy. They was mad at how you were. They was mad at how you were. They was just mad. Period. They can't. It ain't nothing that they can do to ever just stop what you got going on. We had the Eight of Cups. They mad because you you're able to walk away from situations and people, and you don't feel guilty about it. 
the betrayal, like these betrayals, people, they just mad because they can only do what they can. And what they can is really not their best energy. Like people are get so comfortable being lazy within their life. They can't, they don't want to get out of it. And people don't understand in order for you to push through the next level, ain't nobody stopping you from getting to the next level. It's only you. It's nobody else. You cannot tell me the person beside me saying that I can't make it is actually going to stop me from making it. This person wanted to do things. This person could have tried to put magic on you, y'all. And that didn't do nothing but make you celebrate more. Y'all, this person tried to throw magic on you, and that magic was transmuted. And that magic went back to them. Not only that, but it also added to your energy. It gifted you. Your energy is able to transform knights into kings. And this person is thinking that they're a queen, but they're really in page energy. This person acts, yep, page of pentacles. This person acts like a page, but really all they do is keep the little bit they got. They're just selfish. Like you cannot possibly convince me to think that you got all of this, but you're just selfish. Like what if they only got one coin, they keeping that one coin to themselves and they're making that one coin seem like a million dollars. Like, these people not really getting to no bag like they say. They lying. The betrayal came from them lying on you. They lied on you and was trying to make it seem like you wasn't getting to the bag. But that lie is coming to the light for a lot of people involved in this situation because now they finna ask them, what made you think this person wasn't getting to the bag? How you figure this person not getting to the bag? Actually, they, they flipping the script on them and they're asking, what are you doing? What do you plan on doing? You talking about this person... What are you doing? You look big. You don't look like you got anything going on. Not only that, you're not even trying to do anything. You really comfortable with the basic shit you got. So why are you talking about this person trying to get more? More the more they ain't even seen the more yet. They don't even know what the more is like. All they know is it's something better than this. But you this energy then sat up here and accepted it. They didn't sat up here and accepted the norm. They didn't accept the basic. And guess what? <laughs> they see what is getting them. I I tell you that. They see what is getting them because they watching you and they peeping you out and they're like, dang, this person really going on the up and up. And it is. So they in their mind, they're upset. They're distraught because they feel like they betrayed you for nothing. Now they don't have nobody real around them. Now they just, they're sick. Like they're not happy. They wake up and think they got to do this all over again. They don't wake up and say, what am I about to get into today? They wake up and say, oh, I already know what I'm doing. I already know what I'm going to end up doing. Like I'm not happy. Three of Pentacles. They betrayed you too because you're see, you're able to collaborate with people, and and people don't know your business. People, it's like whatever happens behind closed doors with you, it stay behind closed doors. And I feel like they feel some type of way because they it's because they tell people business, and now they seeing it where people don't want to tell people be, tell their business to them anymore. These people betrayed you, but like I said, they betrayed you by trying to tell lies about you, trying to make it seem like you weren't who you were. And now people are seeing that this person not only lied to own you, but these people are thinking this person could be lying to me too. This person could be doing the same thing to me. And they trying to steer clear of it. Ten of Wands is going to bring great burden on this person because this person is going to find themselves working a lot harder than what they thought they was going to have to work. This person thought they was going to be able to do They was This person had a scheme. This person had a plan. And this person said, okay, I'm going to target their love life. I'm going to target their money. Then I'm going to target who they are. And then I'm going to target their confidence. And ain't nothing worked. Like, they had a whole plan for how they was going to do you dirty. And it didn't work because everything they did, it ended up backfiring on them. And they said, well, I didn't do that right. Let me try it again. And it backfired on them. And they said, hold on, let me try it again. And it backfired on them again. And now it's like, what's going on? Now they sick because now they feel useless. They feel like it was working at first. They felt like it was working at first. But for whatever reason, you you was able to be brought something was able to be brought to your attention and now it's not working it was like it was working when you wasn't worried about them or it was working when you was doing it it was some type of situation where they thought it was working but actually it wasn't it was working according to plan for them to receive whatever they received 
So this betrayal was supposed to happen because it was supposed to show you that your money, the people who are subscribing this collective, you are money. And the people who are not subscribed, the people who are cross-watching, trying to get some information, you're never going to touch it because you're too caught up in your emotion in the background. You're too caught up in the background noise to even see what's in front of you. You're trying to see what's behind you. You're not seeing what's in front of you. These people here, they're not going to live the life they think they're going to live collective. And and this on this 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 on just being a, a nasty individual, nasty individuals that do dirty stuff that betray people. You know, let me tell you something. You're never gonna see what you think you're gonna see because how you view everything is wrong anyway. So yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if that resonated with you, and I'm gonna see you guys later.